A young girl participated in the grade's professional assessment, surprisingly becoming a rare primary combat class elemental mage. She thought she was a shoe-in for first in her grade, but she was publicly humiliated by a boy. This was because the boy changed his profession to the only hidden profession, necromancer, which allows him to summon all the undead warriors in the world for his own use, thus enabling him to summon a legion of undead capable of destroying the world with a wave of his hand. It turns out, this is a world where the game and reality are intertwined. Everyone has to participate in the profession change ceremony when they turn 18, but 99% of people change to livelihood class, which are nothing compared to the support class. The combat class is the profession everyone dreams of. Today was the day of the school's unified professional change. The principal passionately motivated the students on the stage, but turned his head and was very respectful towards an old man. I recognized at a glance that the old man was a rare tier array master. You should know, classes levels are divided into low, medium, high, rare, and legendary tiers, and there are very few rare tier characters in the entire West Sea City. As the professional change array slowly rose, the principal began to call students to enter the array for professional change. However, the first student changed his professional to a livelihood class professional, farmer. This student was struck as if by lightning, destined to be a bottom-level farmer for the rest of his livelihood. Following him, the second student also changed into a livelihood class professional. The array master on the side frowned at the sight, it seems difficult for your school to produce a combat class professional. But when it was school beauty Xia Xue's turn, he was shocked. This student's mental power is more than twice that of others, and she is very likely to change her professional to mage. As soon as his voice fell, an unusual phenomenon occurred with Xia Xue on the field. Two huge elemental orbs appeared above her head, indicating that she is at least a rare professional. In the end, she changed her professional to the rare profession elemental mage, which made both the principal and the array master praise her incessantly. Now, it was my turn to undergo class advancement. The school's beauty, Xia Xue, felt a mysterious worry in her heart because my top-of-the-class grades had been crushing her for three straight years. So, as the eternal runner-up, she feared that I would once again surpass her in the class advancement. The school principal, who was standing by, looked at me expectantly, and then asked the master, do you see anything special about him? However, the master remarked that I did not stand out in any way, but as soon as I stepped into the class advancement formation, a terrifying energy continuously surged from beneath my feet, followed by a pillar of light that shot up into the sky. The principal and master realized that this was an unusual phenomenon, and it was even more shocking than the one Xia Xue had caused. At this point, Xia Xue was nervously looking in that direction. Suddenly, a student pointed at the sky and shouted, there's something. Thousands of dark shadows slowly emerged from the dark clouds, their gruesome and terrifying figures making people feel as if they were spirits from hell. The faint-hearted students were immediately scared and sat down on the ground. Then, the shadows in the sky saluted me in unison, and they transformed into strands of undead power that flowed into my body, awakening my unique hidden class, Necromancer. This stirred up a lot of envy and fear among many people. Unconcerned, I was about to head back to school. But the array master hurriedly called me, expressing his wish to see a skill from the unique hidden class. I quickly opened my class skills only to find that I could only summon a black iron skeleton warrior. With a thought, a skeleton warrior instantly appeared. The students around showed expressions of horror. Suddenly, the master pointed a beam of light at the skeleton warrior, and the warrior's killing intent immediately rose. The master was quite surprised. He was a level 52 professional, and this kid was only level 1, but the summoned skeleton was hostile towards him. However, the attributes of the summoned creature were quite average. After resolving his confusion, the master thanked me, and then with a thought, I withdrew the skeleton warrior. But the next second, the system told me that my summoning space was 10. At this moment, I finally understood that the scene I had just awakened to was real. As long as the necromancer leveled up and infinitely expanded the summoning space, he could reach the level of slaying dragons in seconds. Before I could think more, Xia Xue came running over, saying she wanted to compare our grades in the big exam. I just gave a non-committal response and turned to leave. But not long after getting home, 
a system prompt appeared before me, Post has awakened the necromancer profession, which meets the requirements, binding to the top talent system. Talent amplification and skill damage transfer obtained. All skill effects increased fivefold, damage taken is borne by summoned creatures. I quickly summoned the skeleton warrior and found that its overall attributes had indeed increased fivefold. Combined with damage transfer, I would be unbeatable at the same level. The next day, my best buddy Gao Yang wanted to team up with me, but I declined. I told him my goal was to get into Xiaojing University, and that soloing in dungeons was the quickest way to level up. Upon hearing this, the principal was shocked. To get into Xiaojing University, one has to reach level 12 before the big exam. Your sister, Lin Mohan, was only accepted into Xiaojing Academy when she reached level 16. Plus, the big exam is just a week away, it's almost impossible to reach level 12. But I was unfazed and said I was confident. After saying this, I was ready to enter the newbie dungeon. The school beauty Xia Shui wanted to compete with me on leveling speed, which left me speechless. What a competitive woman. After entering the dungeon, I immediately emptied my mental power and summoned four skeleton warriors. I controlled them with my mind to kill the monsters separately. The enhanced skeleton warrior dealt with the monsters here like a hot knife through butter. Each time a skeleton warrior killed a monster, my experience increased by 1%. Soon, my experience was rising rapidly. In less than half an hour, I had leveled up, and my skills and the number of skeleton warriors I could summon also increased. The overall attributes of the skeleton warriors surged to 125. The speed of killing monsters had also greatly increased. Furthermore, I discovered that the paths of the skeleton bushes, which was a perfect opportunity for me to test my active skills. With a five-fold increase in skills, it instantly killed it. At the same time, I leveled up to level 3, so my summoning capacity increased by 3, and the overall attributes of the skeleton warriors increased to 175. Next, monsters of levels 5 and 6 became targets of the skeleton warriors. In less than an hour, I had leveled up again. At this rate, I could reach level 8 by the time I leave the dungeon. At this moment, the principal was discussing my leveling speed with the patriarch of the Xia family, and he believed Xia Shui had the best chance of getting into Xiaojing University. He thought that if she reached level 5 after exiting the newbie dungeon, she would have a chance because the previous Su Qianqing and Lin Mohan were also rare professions, and they were both level 5 when they left the newbie dungeon. But he didn't know that I had already reached up. I saw the stats of a level 8 whip tree. I ordered a skeleton warrior to chop down the tree, but the imagined instant kill didn't happen. It took 4 slashes to kill it. This will slow down the leveling efficiency, but thankfully I didn't need to look for monsters here. There were hundreds of whip trees in sight, which was a perfect place for me to level up. So, I summoned all my skeleton now didn't harm me at all. Another mage turned grim when he noticed the skeleton warriors by my side were undead summons, murmuring, those who awaken this kind of profession are never good people. Lucky for him, a teammate reminded him not to cause trouble, so the mage reluctantly left, sparing them a narrow escape. They should know that if it came to a fight, they'd surely die. Afterward, I commanded the skeleton warriors to continue their frenzied monster killing. Since reaching level 10, the experience needed to level up has tripled. I calculated that I'd need to kill at least 5,000 goblins to level up. At this rate, I could probably only reach level 16 before the big test. I thought about how my sister also reached level 16 before her big test. Although she was a rare sword dancer class, her leveling speed couldn't surpass mine. Did she and others go into a nightmare level dungeon with more experience points? Is that why she came back covered in injuries? Having resolved my doubts, I decided to check it out myself the next day. But just then, a figure slowly approached, and I became alert. After all, those who come to places like this are usually up to no good. But when I caught sight of her, I recognized her as the female assassin from the day. She asked if I had any food. I suggested we could each use detection magic. But when our fingertips touched, I didn't get any useful information, while she looked at my information panel in surprise, I've never heard of the necromancer profession. Was the skeleton this afternoon your summon? That's a rare undead creature. Seeing me still silent, she grew impatient, don't tell me, you're a mute despite being so handsome. I was speechless, then asked her why I couldn't see her information. Seeing that I could speak, 
she was overjoyed, then took out a shielding badge from her body and told me that wearing it would block detection magic. After speaking, she immediately destroyed the badge in her hand, saying, you try to use detection magic on me now. Following her words, I pointed a finger, and her information appeared in front of my eyes. She turned out to be a level 19 shadow assassin, named Ningyi. Suddenly, she seemed to have sensed something, quickly turned her head to look, and I also saw three figures surrounding us on the map. At this point, Ningyi got up to say goodbye to me, but suddenly an arrow shot out. Thanks to her quick reaction, she narrowly avoided it. But this was a range marking skill, an arrow symbol appeared over our heads. This was undoubtedly the deadliest thing for an assassin who could go invisible. Then, several figures walked out. The mage coldly said, I knew you were together, a filthy rat-like assassin paired with an evil undead summoner, not bad. Ning Suddenly, their expressions froze, and they were surrounded by a ghostly flame. Dozens of skeletal warriors encircled them. Ning Yi, standing to the side, had her mouth agape in disbelief. Then, with a flicker of my thought, all the skeletal warriors charged forward. Upon seeing the situation, the mage immediately activated his magical shield, only for it to crack at the first contact with the skeleton warriors. In the very moment his shield was shattered, the mage finished chanting his fire spell, and a hot wave of fire exploded out from him, instantly sending the two skeleton warriors flying. But as his fire dissipated, the skeleton warriors charged right back at him. In the next second, his body was cut into three pieces. Elsewhere, the fleeing archer was sweating bullets. In less than two and a half seconds, a level 20 main battle class was killed, and his agility of nearly 1000 couldn't shake off these skeletons. At the same time, the knight was forced to use his ultimate defense skill, which allowed him to endure damage twice his level for a short period. He then used his charging skill to try to break out. But how could I let him go so easily? With a raise of my hand, I commanded the skeleton warriors to use their active skill. In an instant, the skeleton warriors aura sword, and the knight's face turned pale, what kind of monster is this? Not only are its attributes off the charts, it can even use skills. As a red light flashed, his defense was instantly shattered, and he calmly accepted death. Ning Yi was completely dumbfounded on the side, having killed three level 20 class players without even moving. After their deaths, their equipment and items dropped, but the dropped equipment was of no use to Ning Yi or me, so I sold it to the portable bank. The only useful thing was a beginner skill scroll, which allowed the user to acquire a skill under level 20. The tricky part was, I had no idea how to use it. Ning Yi immediately noticed my dilemma and told me to just shout out the word use. I did as she said, but nothing happened, and she teased that my voice was very nice. It seemed that some kind of medium was needed to trigger the skill scroll, so I tried infusing it with spiritual power. Suddenly, the scroll burst into fierce flames, and I acquired the skill, Corpse Explosion. Exploding a corpse can cause damage equal to 10% of the corpse's life to enemies within a 1 meter range. Although this skill initially appeared useless, when boosted by my talent, it could inflict 100% damage on enemies within a 10 meter radius and even detonate the corpses of slain foes. Simply put, it was an invincible crowd-based skill. Waking up from meditation, I saw Ning Yi's flawless smiling face, and my favor toward her increased a lot. At this moment, she handed me a treasure chest, consider this a thank you gift for saving me. I opened it to find a medium skill scroll, which could awaken a skill between levels 40 and 70. Its value was 100 times that of a beginner skill scroll. I was puzzled. She was chased for this skill scroll, but now she was giving it to me. It seemed that she which led to her fleeing from Zhaohai City to West Sea City. Then, she asked me which academy I wanted to attend, and I told her Xiaojing University. Upon hearing this, she told me to remember to go to the Xinxia Tower. The first challenge of the Xinxia Tower doubled the rewards, and the higher the level, the better. This way, you can earn a lot of points, which are more valuable than gold in Xiaojing University. As we talked, she fell asleep next to me, and I took this opportunity to meditate and recover my spiritual power. The next morning, Ning Yi and I parted ways. Before leaving, she reminded me to work hard on leveling up and said that when I became powerful, I could level up with her. After she left, I went to where I had fought during the day and saw the three corpses on the ground. 
I wanted to try out the corpse explosion skill I had acquired the day before. I slowly raised my right hand, a strange red light twirling around it. At the same time, fiery flames ignited from the corpses, exploding with a bang. The explosion amplified by my talents was a godly group damage skill. With this freakish skill, I felt confident tackling the West Sea Mine dungeon next. Soon, I reached the entrance of the dungeon, where countless voices were calling out for teammates. It seemed the dungeon was challenging. I strutted into the crowd with a skeleton soldier. As I approached the entrance, a selection panel popped up, offering a choice between normal and nightmare modes. A man tried to I used a detection magic on me but not only failed to discover my stats, he was almost scared to death by my skeleton soldier. Others started inviting me to team up after seeing my strength, but I rejected them all and unhesitatingly chose the nightmare mode. When people saw me entering the nightmare dungeon alone, they were shocked. Is this guy crazy? Our whole squad isn't confident about clearing the nightmare dungeon, and he's trying to solo it. The moment I entered the dungeon, I encountered a goblin monster. Its stat surprised me. It was several times stronger than the monsters in normal dungeons. But compared to my skeleton soldiers, it was still weak. I summoned all my skeleton soldiers and with a thought, two of them instantly killed a level 14 mine guard, granting me 4200 experience points, 10 times more than what I would have gained in a normal dungeon. So, I commanded all the skeleton soldiers to act together, determined to clear every corner of the cave, leaving no minor m After level 10, the basic attribute increase per level doubled from 10 to 20 points, making my skeleton soldiers now have a terrifying 1700 in all stats. However, my corpse explosion skill didn't level up, which puzzled me. If hundreds of fierce wolves emerged, their stats also displayed. They were weak, but they were perfect for gaining experience. I commanded a skeleton soldier to test their strength, and it killed one in a single strike, granting me 2800 experience points. Then I used my explosion skill on the corpse. An intense explosion erupted from the pack, instantly wiping out a group of wolves and earning me a lot of experience points. Subsequently, I continued to use the explosion skill on the corpses. In an instant, the sound of explosions was incessant, and my experience points were rapidly increasing directly jumping from at level 11, 32% to 72%. After all the wolves were killed, the Wolf King reappeared, but it was surrounded by the corpses of its pack. I decided to send them off together. After a massive explosion, the Wolf King fell, granting me 15,000 experience points. The loot was also quite valuable. Next, I ventured further into the dungeon, where the monsters were of a higher level. I had already gained a level in just over an hour since entering the dungeon. At this rate, I could reach level 19 after a few more rounds. Then, I discovered a giant goblin sleeping at the deepest part of the mine. I used my inspection skill on it and found that its stats were terrifying. It even had three active skills, making it much more threatening than the Wolf King. Suddenly, my inspection woke it up. It leaped up with a deafening roar and swung its giant sword at me. But the sword stopped 2.5 centimeters from me as if an invisible force was preventing it from moving any further. It was the effect of my passive skill, Damage Transfer, which let my summons take all the damage. I saw a skeleton soldier's skull starting to crack, and the soul fire inside it began to dim. The next moment, its body shattered. Then a second one followed. I was shocked that a single blow cost me two skeleton soldiers. Suddenly, I realized my weakness was my frail constitution. Maybe if that strike had landed on a skeleton warrior instead of me, it wouldn't have been an instant kill. From now on, I need to focus on improving my physical strength. At that moment, the skeleton warrior was being crushed by the goblin king, their power levels were simply too disparate. So, I summoned all the skeleton warriors to attack at once, the goblin king's body was soon filled with them, wounds multiplying. Suddenly, the goblin king emitted a blinding light and leaped into the air. The moment he landed, a shockwave sent the skeleton warriors flying. Immediately after, he used a fire-breathing skill, instantly engulfing the skeleton warriors in blistering flames. I watched as their health points rapidly decreased and knew I had to interrupt his skill. I tentatively used my soul flame. Not only did it interrupt his casting, but it also set his head on fire. Meanwhile, all the skeleton warriors swarmed him. The Goblin King, his eyes revealing his unwillingness to give in, 
collapsed under the onslaught. The system then notified me that I gained 40,000 experience points, a bronze dagger, a bronze robe of knowledge, and a goblin king's crystal core. I immediately put on the robe, which increased my spirit and constitution by 10 points each and reduced my skill cooldown time by 5%. I had now reached level 12, my summoning limit increased to 60, and my skills significantly improved. Feeling elated, I teleported out of the dungeon. Upon seeing me emerge alive, everyone began to buzz, look at the robe he's wearing, he actually cleared the nightmare dungeon alone. I chose to ignore them and slowly walked into the wilderness, planning to meditate and recover my spiritual power during the dungeon's cooldown period. The fight had made me realize my own shortcomings, but also the uses of my own skills. Corpse Explosion can be a powerful area damage skill when used correctly, and Soul Flame can not only interrupt enemies but its defense ignoring attack is hard even for bosses to endure. Twelve hours passed quickly, and my spiritual power was almost fully recovered. I was about to head to the West Sea Mine Dungeon to level up, but as soon as I arrived, I realized something was wrong. The entrance to the dungeon was blocked by a large crowd. A man was confronting a guild leader. Your dynasty guild is too domineering, why can't we enter the dungeon? The next moment, the folks from the dynasty guild hit him with a fire spell, and the guy was blasted away in an instant. Everyone watched the man die and dared not voice their anger. Curious, I asked a bystander about the situation. Apparently, the dynasty guild wanted to obtain the Goblin King's crystal core, but the core only had a chance to drop from the nightmare level dungeon. Moreover, only one would drop every 100 days, and today marked 100 days since the last one. This was why they weren't letting anyone into the dungeon. They had previously issued a bounty for the core, but the price was only a third of the market rate. No one would be foolish enough to sell the Goblin King's crystal core to them. After all, the core could be processed by an alchemist into the Ring of the Goblin King, which would increase all attributes by 10 and raise the level of all skills by 1. All this trouble was because a leader of the dynasty guild wanted to attend the Xiaojing Academy, so they were desperate for this equipment. After resolving the doubts in my heart, I went straight to the entrance of the dungeon. No matter which guild it is, they just can't get in my way of leveling up. The young man behind me kept persuading me not to court death, but I turned a deaf ear and moved forward. I then coldly said to the dynasty guild, get red hair, seeing this, completely panicked, this instantly killed. In an instant, everyone in the dynasty guild died in the explosion, their bodies reduced to ashes. After that, I casually wiped the blood off my face and slowly walked into the dungeon. Seeing this, the spectators panicked, claiming that the dynasty guild would not let anyone off and hurried everyone to leave. Half an hour later, a leader of the dynasty guild came out of the dungeon, but he was very confused. The place that was once bustling was now deserted, even his own guild members were nowhere to be found. He began to suspect that something big had happened, but considering the strength of his guild and seeing no signs of a fight, he thought they had just left early. After resolving his doubts, he left with his people. At this point, I had once again killed the Goblin King, but this time only a low-level monster core and some equipment dropped. As expected, no more Goblin King cores will drop. However, the mage book that just dropped suits me well, as it can enhance both soul fire and corpse explosion. At this point, I had reached level 13. The time or they might get involved. The next morning, as soon as Xia Shui reached level 10, she came to challenge the Western Sea Mine Dungeon. But when she saw me entering the dungeon alone, she was completely shocked, he can actually solo dungeons now. However, I am a rare elemental mage, as long as I find a strong team, my leveling speed will certainly not be slower than his. Thinking this, her eyes became determined. However, she had no a not performing up to par would still face elimination. They would be transported into a battle space, where various types of monsters would spawn. The first swarm of monsters would number in the hundreds, including elite level leaders and even bosses. The battle space was divided into five stages, each offering different point values. The highest level of monsters was level 19, and defeating one would earn you 500 points. Upon entering the battle space, the examiner could only monitor your point fluctuations, so you were free to use any tricks you had up your sleeve. In the next moment, I was transported into the battle space, just as the first wave of monsters was summoned. I could only discern their levels, not their attributes. 
What surprised me was that the skeleton warrior could not dispatch the monster in seconds with a single slash. If one slash didn't work, then two would, followed by using the corpse explosion skill on the monster corpses, instantaneously eliminating 10 monsters within seconds. Meanwhile, the examiner outside the arena stared at my point tally in disbelief, which had increased by 500 points all at once. Arrived, it was my turn to strike now. I summoned 10 skeleton warriors, which was sufficient to handle these mage monsters known for their high offense but low health. The outcome was even easier than I had anticipated. The skeleton warriors slayed them with just a single slash. Coupled with my corpse explosion skill, dozens of monster corpses detonated simultaneously in an instant, creating a 100 meter radius death zone on the battlefield. Hundreds of monsters perished in this explosion, and in sync, my points surged by 6000. The examiner was left speechless and dumbfounded upon witnessing this scene. Could it be that he had slayed over a hundred monsters in one fell swoop? His summons were already formidable, and now this group skill was incredibly overpowered. They instantly speculated that my class had surpassed the legendary level, and could even compete with those few top professions. At this point, the deadly aura of the battlefield where I stood intensified once again, signaling the advent of the second phase. In the next moment, 40 orc troops were summoned all at once. The monsters were split into two types, the first boasted high health and strong defense characteristics, the fighters, while the second, the archers, had high offense but low health. This formation would have been nearly impossible for other players to overcome, but I didn't anticipate too much difficulty. At this juncture, the examiners monitoring the screen started to tense up. In the history of the Shinsia Empire's big exam, only one professional had ever cleared the third stage of the battle space. Therefore, they were eager to see if I could surpass the third stage and make history. At this juncture, my points soared by another 20,000, leaving the examining teachers who observed this scene unable to remain calm. Could it be that he had awakened his talent? If so, it would be a tremendous boon for the human race. If he could also awaken a new talent during his job change, then he would be an extraordinarily rare dual talent individual. Simultaneously, a faint purple aura began to emanate from the trial tower suspended above the Shinsia Empire. A dark purple light burst forth, homing in on the trial tower, while a booming voice echoed from within the structure, audacious. Instantly, a colossal golden hands emerged from the tower. However, the demonic clone greeted this sight with a malevolent grin, declaring, you can't stop me. The following moment saw the collision of two terrifying forces. Despite the abyssal demon's clone being swiftly crushed by the giant golden hand, the trial tower had been inadvertently contaminated with abyssal power. The three powerhouses combined their efforts to purify it, only to find that it would take at least an hour. Their primary concern lay with the candidates inside who were taking the big exam. Meanwhile, the monsters on my battlefield suddenly vanished, and all candidates within the battle space were teleported together. Just as we were doubt into doubt, a man who identified himself as Bai Yuan appeared overhead. At this sight, everyone let out cries of shock. The Bai God had unexpectedly descended on the big exam site. Nonetheless, the examiners understood all too well what his appearance indicated. Something had certainly gone awry in the battle space. As anticipated, at this point, the Bai God revealed the truth to all examinees, demons from the abyssal world had breached the battle space, intending to eradicate the talented examinees of the Shinsia Empire. The restoration of the spatial rules was projected to take an hour, so it was crucial for everyone to protect themselves for the ensuing duration. Upon receiving this news, the examination teachers were thrown into a state of panic, as this clearly represented an attempt to obliterate the future of the Shinsia Empire. Most of the examinees were already filled with dread, knowing that even the weakest demons from the abyssal world were of level 70, far beyond what they could handle. However, I wasn't overly concerned. If level 70 demons were truly descending into the battle space, we wouldn't survive for an hour, and the by god wouldn't have bothered to issue a warning. It's likely that the demons invading the battle space would be restrained by some suppressing power. Just then, a candidate pointed skyward and cried out, drawing our attention to a blood-red moon suspended above the battle space. A torrent of abyssal power was gushing forth from it. On seeing this, all the warrior class candidates rushed to the forefront, ready to shield their teammates and fend off any monsters. However, 
One of the infested orc warriors let out an ominous laugh, declaring that the geniuses of the Shinxia Empire wouldn't live to see another day. The crowd breathed a sigh of relief upon noticing that the monster was only level 19, quietly grateful that the level constraints of the battle space hadn't been breached. Yet, at that very moment, a horde of abyss-infested monsters emerged from the bloody sky, darkening the air. Xia Shue gripped my arm tightly, voicing her concern, there are so many of them, can we make it? I replied with a nonchalant smile, although it's a bit of a hassle, I can still handle it at this level. Hundreds of monsters, infused with the power of the abyss, emerged simultaneously. Not one of the other candidates dared to confront this sight, but unlike them, I refused to be a sitting duck. I advanced towards the horde of monsters. Behind me, Xia Shue cried out in a rush to halt me, what are you doing? Those are hundreds of enhanced monsters. But I paid her no heed and continued my march towards the monsters. My actions immediately drew the attention of the other candidates, simultaneously igniting their will to fight. In the next moment, all the candidates rallied behind me, the soldiers of Shinxia unafraid of either battle or death. As I approached within 50 meters of the monster horde, I began summoning additional skeleton warriors. Within mere moments, a force of 100 skeleton warriors materialized on the battlefield. Their swift appearance stunned the candidates, but it was their formidable damage and defense that truly terrified. They withstood the monster's full onslaught, losing only a fifth of their health. From this, I deduced the strengthened monster's strength to be around 3000 and estimated their health to be roughly 3500 based on the damage they had taken. Although their health was significantly high, the damage dealt by my corpse explosion skill was set to increase correspondingly. Unexpectedly, I discovered that killing these monsters yielded a large amount of experience points. Unhesitatingly, I deployed the corpse explosion skill. The ensuing explosion in the next moment seized the attention of all the candidates. However, before they could comprehend what was happening, a series of even more powerful explosions detonated amongst the monster horde. In an instant, the battlefield was stripped of all monstrous presence. The sight left the candidates shocked and speechless. Yet, this spectacle also drew the attention of the abyssal demon king in the blood moon, causing more monsters to surge forth. Suddenly, the candidates found themselves once again engulfed by monsters. Witnessing this, I came to a swift realization, if I were to save everyone, I had to defeat the demon in the blood moon. Without hesitation, I hurled the monster's corpse towards the blood moon in the sky. As the corpse made contact, I unleashed the corpse explosion skill, simultaneously deploying the soul flame skill. The next moment, a chilling scream echoed across the battlefield, impossible, a profession capable of searing my soul exists in this world. At the same time, the powerhouses repairing the trial tower in the external world sensed a disturbance. A mysterious old man wore a horrified look on his face, the interference from the abyssal power is rapidly diminishing. Upon hearing this, the by god's aura erupted, suffocating in its intensity, could it be that all the candidates in the tower have perished? Witnessing this, the old man quickly clarified, I can distinctly sense that the aura of the human race still persists within the tower. However, the aura of the abyssal demon consciousness body has significantly weakened, almost as if it has been gravely injured. Hearing this, the by god finally exhaled in relief, next time, remember to complete your statement all at once, you had me worried sick. But you mentioned that the abyssal demon inside the tower is seriously injured, how could those candidates, barely out of their teens, accomplish this? At that very moment, a golden ray shot up from within the tower, and to my surprise, the corpse explosion skill had leveled up. With the enhancement from the talent increase, the explosion's radius extended to 20 meters, and the damage escalated to 150% of the life value. Just then, a horde of monsters surged behind me like a black tide. However, upon witnessing this, I couldn't help but laugh, perfect timing. It's an excellent opportunity to test out my upgraded corpse explosion skill. Under the disbelieving stares of the others, countless bodies were hurled into the air. Even the abyssal demon struggled to accept that they could lose to such a young upstart. With a massive explosion, the demonic energy in the battle space was obliterated, and the crowd was left in disbelief that they had survived. Meanwhile, in the Empire's capital, the powerhouses who were laboring to repair the trial tower also felt the vanishing of abyssal will at that moment. Bai Yuan hastily sought information about the children's situation. 
After the elder confirmed their well-being, Bai Yi Yuan was relieved to learn there were no casualties. Despite his incredulity, he prioritized the children's safety and asked the elder to teleport them back immediately. Within the battle space, Xia Shui was still experiencing heart palpitations. She asked if I was alright, and only after receiving an affirmative response did she breathe a sigh of relief. At this moment, Bai Yi Yuan's projected will also appeared in the sky, everyone, the abyssal power has vanished, and the battle space has returned to normal. You will be teleported back to the original examination center, with results to be announced later. Shortly after, the crowd was teleported back. As the chief examiner, Ning Xianfeng was privy to everyone's scores. However, simply earning high points was not enough to gain admission into a top-tier academy, a stellar evaluation was also required. As the number one seed contestant, Ning Xianfeng was eagerly anticipating the kind of evaluation I would receive. Simultaneously, the powerhouses in the Empire's capital began using their retrospective abilities to scrutinize the events within the battle space. However, what they discovered left Bai Yi Yuan, a top-tier powerhouse, rather taken aback. Lin Moyu had single-handedly saved the day, fending off the invasion of the Abyssal Demons. His profession was not only formidable, but his character also exhibited the calmness and decisive nature necessary for killing. He already possessed the qualities to become a top-tier powerhouse. Shortly after, my first place result was announced in the examination room, immediately causing a sensation. Principal Lu was brimming with excitement. I had actually helped him secure another provincial top scholar, a feat he could boast about for another 20 years. Xia Shui also turned towards me, her face full of disbelief, then seriously said, you can actually smile, and it's quite good looking. Why don't you usually smile? Her words left me feeling helpless. At this moment, the results for the second place were also announced. Xia Shui received 7,600 points, and her evaluation was also excellent, with two pieces of great news in one day, Principal Lu was beaming with joy. In stark contrast was Wang Zihail, who was utterly devastated. Although he had secured fifth place in points, his evaluation was poor. Why? I don't accept this, why should I be rated poorly? He protested. Regardless of his objections, they were futile, and due to his violation of examination room discipline, he was forcibly expelled. As the examiners declared the results of my combat class professions, proclaiming me the provincial first prize winner, Gao Yang outside the arena also cheered exuberantly, See, that's my leader. However, the next moment, the examiners announced another imperial order, leaving the crowd puzzled. Lin Moyu has become this year's Grand Examination National First Prize winner. The moment this order was announced, the entire examination room erupted into chaos. What? The national top scholar. Hearing this news, Principal Lu was dumbfounded, unable to believe his own ears. After recovering from the shock, he burst into tears, national top scholar, this is something I can brag about for the rest of my life. At this point, other candidates participating in the examination also stepped forward to offer their congratulations. They urged that I must visit them when I come to the Xia Jing, even extending invitations for dinner. I simply replied, okay. Seeing my straightforward response, Xia Shui quickly explained on the side, he's always been like this. We've been classmates for three years, and we haven't exchanged more than 10 sentences. However, I corrected her seriously, 26 sentences. The group was initially taken aback, then they couldn't help but chuckle. Xia Shui was left speechless, I really can't figure this guy out. Upon returning home, I looked at photos of my loved ones and relayed that I had become the national top student. I would soon be attending Xiaojing Academy, and I would get to see my sister then. However, at that moment, there was a knock at the door. Upon opening it, I instantly recognized Principal Lu, and the person behind him was exuding an intimidating pressure. The terrifying aura made it difficult for me to breathe, prompting me to hastily summon my skeleton warrior and assume a defensive stance. Upon encountering the by god, I immediately extended my respects. By god seemed pleased with me, not only because of my strength but also due to my calm and collected disposition. However, the sight of the skeleton warrior standing behind me appeared to puzzle him. A mediocre attribute at 250, how did you manage to make a killing in the battle space? I was taken aback by his question, only then recalling that others could not perceive the enhanced attributes of my skeletons. 
The by God then asked if I had awakened any talents. Yes, I confirmed, the talent I've awakened is amplification, it amplifies all skills. By God nodded at my response, then explained that his visit served two purposes. The first was to grant me a reward from the Xiajing Academy. The second was to invite me to partake in a trial scheduled for the day after tomorrow. He refrained from revealing the details unless I agreed to participate. Nonetheless, he assured me that this trial represented a rare opportunity and he strongly recommended my involvement. After a brief contemplation, I consented. The Bai God laughed heartily at my agreement, then produced the rewards. Apart from a points card, there were two skill scrolls. Furthermore, I also obtained an entry qualification for the Shinxia Tower. Bear in mind, the privilege to enter this tower is immensely valuable. Hence, you must prepare thoroughly before venturing inside, he warned. His solemn advice underscored the significance of the opportunity at hand. Following that, by God instructed me to pack swiftly as he intended to teleport us to the Xiajing Academy. Soon, we arrived at our destination. We stood before a large stone monument at the Academy's entrance. By God explained that this monument served dual purposes, it was both an entrance and a weapon. Even if a top powerhouse were to break in, they would have to pay a significant price. Next, by God led me to the dormitory and arranged someone to handle my accommodation. The sight of the by God personally attending to me caused the dormitory manager to break into a cold sweat, what's this kid standing, to have by God personally receiving him? We must not upset him. Consequently, he asked me about my preferred accommodations and started to describe the options. There were four types of lodging, a four-person room, a double room, a single dormitory, and a detached villa. The prices varied greatly among these options, prompting the dormitory manager to kindly advise me, be economical, as there will be plenty of instances to use your points in the future. You might want to consider the double room to start with. After considering my options, I decided, it's wise to economize, so I'll opt for a single room. This decision took the dormitory manager by surprise, choosing a single room as a way to save money, are you a tycoon? He then led me around to inspect the living conditions, saying, student Lin, give me your identity card so I can register it. Upon seeing the number of points on my card, he was visibly shocked, how did you accumulate so many points? 130,000. No wonder you chose a single room. Once he realized my wealth, his respect for me deepened, all right, this is your dormitory from now on. Rest well, and don't hesitate to contact me if you need anything. Once I was alone, I moved to the window and gazed at the various glows emitted by skill activations outside, and couldn't help but marvel, truly befitting of the Xiajing Academy, everyone here is working hard. After spending the night in meditation, I was startled by a sudden ring at the door. To my surprise, it was the shadow assassin I'd met earlier, Ning Yi. She greeted me playfully, hey, don't you recognize me? I was momentarily taken aback but quickly recovered, replying, of course I do. Before I knew it, I was whisked away from my dormitory by Ning Yi's enthusiastic pull. Shortly thereafter, we found ourselves in the cafeteria, ready to enjoy breakfast. Being a young man with little concern for finances, I instinctively swiped my points card to pay. Upon seeing this, Ning Yi urgently intervened, don't use points here, you can pay with gold coins. Remember, never use points where gold coins are accepted. I just stared, perplexed, I don't have any gold coins. Ning Yi sighed in exasperation, well, I have some. However, catching a glimpse of my points balance, she was so astonished that she dropped the bun she was eating, holy cow. How did you amass so many points? Even though she knew I had a substantial amount of points, Ning Yi still advised me to conserve them, you should spend points on crucial things. I nodded in vague agreement. Then, I pulled out a Goblin King's crystal core and offered it to Ning Yi, this is for you. Ning Yi was taken aback as she recognized the gemstone as an essential component for crafting the Goblin King's ring. In the open market, it could fetch at least a million gold coins. Despite knowing its worth, I gifted it to Ning Yi, who was instantly enamored with it. Afterwards, Ning Yi continued to guide me around the academy and eventually led me to the academic affairs office to complete my enrollment procedures. However, when I tried to inquire about my sister, Lin Mohan, I was unable to access any information. Ning Yi comforted me, don't worry, it's likely that your sister has joined a specialized department, 
or she might be on a special mission, hence the details aren't accessible. In the meantime, we had arrived at my classroom, Sister Tao Tao, I've brought someone, our nation's top student. Sister Peach greeted me warmly, hello, I'm Jiang Tao Tao, level 23 elf knight. I introduced myself in turn, I'm a level 17 necromancer. However, someone nearby scoffed at my introduction, are you joking? Level 17. Even if you're going to bring someone in, you can't just pick any random person. Your name is Lin Woyu, right? I know you were introduced by by God, but don't think you can do whatever you want just because- But out of respect for Jiang Tao Tao, Lin Zhen had no choice but to swallow his anger and let Lin Woyu off. Jiang Tao Tao also apologized awkwardly to Lin Woyu, telling him to gain another amazing skill of the slow curse skill. With the blessing of his talents, not only has his attack range reached 50 meters, but the slowing effect has also reached 50%, and even the duration has been extended to 10 minutes. Now, Lin Moyu's skills can be broadly divided into summoning, attacking, and cursing sectors. The next day, apply it to the skeleton warrior. At this moment, Lin Zhen on the side immediately retorted, it can't even receive a status boost, this summoned creature is as useless as its master. The next second, a breath of death emanated from Lin Woyu. He responded coldly, What did you say? What? You want to fight? Ling Zhen provoked. Jiang Tao Tao intervened in time to stop him. However, Ling Zhen was also a bit surprised. When the skeleton looked at him just now, he felt a strong breath of death. But there was no time to think about it any further. They headed straight for the dungeon under the leadership of Jiang Tao Tao. In order to save time, Jiang Tao Tao also arranged for Miao Yu to control the monsters directly, trying to avoid fighting them whenever possible. However, in the small pool ahead, the monsters were already primed for action. As they approached, level 19 merfolk soldiers surged directly out of the water. Such small creatures obviously couldn't stop Jiang Tao Tao's team, a single strike broke the monster's attack posture, followed by a fireball spell coming head on. At the same time, Ning Yi Yi quickly teleported behind it and assassinated it. Before the flames dissipated, the monster was already dead. However, Jiang Tao Tao was not satisfied. They were moving too slow. If they continued to fight monsters, they would be surrounded, so she let Miao Yu take control and they tried to rush straight past. But even so, they were still behind, other teams had already arrived, and the number of monsters had exceeded expectations. The unwilling Jiang Tao Tao asked Miao Yu again if she was confident they could rush straight through. But this time, Miao Yu said there were too many monsters, and their levels had exceeded hers. Her skills had a chance of failure, and if they rushed directly, they would likely be surrounded. Just then, Lin Woyu stepped forward and said, leave it to me. Lin Zhen on the side once again retorted, what can a level 17 noob like you do? Better hide behind the women. However, Lin Woyu didn't pay attention to him this time and told Jiang Tao Tao that he would use the skeleton warrior to draw the merfolk monsters away. Only then did Jiang Tao Tao remember that he had summoned Seeing the full force resistance of Country Y, everyone had to regroup on the spot, looking for a way to break through. At this time, however, Ling Zhen approached Jiang Tao Tao and said he wanted to join another team. Of course, if Lin Woyu leaves, I might consider staying. Ning Yi Yi also scolded him, if it wasn't for Lin Woyu drawing the monsters away, we wouldn't have been able to climb up at all. However, Ling Jin overestimated himself. He believed that as a mage, he was an indispensable part of the team, and Jiang Tao Tao would definitely try to keep him. However, okay, Ling Jin, you can leave the team. Ling Jin looked dumbfounded, what did you say? I said, you can leave the team. Don't you want to get into the creation seminary? Without my damage output, you guys don't have any chance of clearing the dungeon. Jiang Tao Tao's eyes were full of determination, even though I really want to get into the creation seminary, your actions have violated the creed of a spirit knight. Alright, alright, you will regret today's decision. After saying that, Ling Zhen turned around and left. However, Lin Woyu, one of the parties involved, walked towards the entrance of the dungeon with an indifferent expression in his hands in his pockets. Ning Yi Yi walked to Jiang Tao Tao's side, trust your intuition and go ahead, it might surprise you. At this point, at the entrance of the teleportation gate, people from Country Y had already occupied the main positions. Seeing Lin Woyu and others coming, they shouted loudly, go back, you intruders, one more step, and you're dead. 
Unmoved, Lin Wo Yu, with his hands still in his pockets, strode forward. The next second, the people from Country Y launched an attack directly. Looking at the overwhelming attack, everyone was ready. Lin Wo Yu gently raised his right hand, come out, Skeleton Legion. With a bang, countless skeleton warriors appeared in front of everyone, blocking all the attacks. The people from Country Y were taken aback, what's this situation? Those seemingly frail skeletons can block all our attacks. Meanwhile, Lin Mo Yu's team had already arrived at the entrance of the dungeon. The furious people from Country Y launched their strongest attack. There was a flash of light, a loud noise, and the people from Country Y, who thought they had succeeded, had faces the next second that looked as if they had eaten feces. It turned out that Lin Mo Yu's team had chosen to teleport into the nightmare level dungeon before the attack arrived. As the team leader, Jiang Tao Tao began to deploy everyone's positions as soon as they entered the dungeon, Miao Yu, you are in charge of controlling the field, Duan Gao, you assist with healing, I will handle the damage output, Lin Mo Yu, you are responsible for. Before she could finish her sentence, the system had already announced that they had killed an elite mare folk, earning 10,000 experience points. Everyone was taken aback, did a bug occur? However, Jiang Tao Tao had seen everything that had just happened. His skeleton warriors had instantly killed the enhanced elite monsters in the nightmare level dungeon, which even the strongest team, perfectly coordinated, couldn't kill in 5 minutes. However, Ning Yi Yi was excited as if she had done the instant kill herself, I told you there would be a surprise. Next, the skeleton warriors began to automatically clear the monsters, and everyone's astonishment never wore off. It was their first time feeling that the nightmare level dungeon was so easy. As the team leader, Jiang Tao Tao was somewhat unaccustomed. Normally, she was always at the forefront, paying attention to monster attacks, protecting her teammates, but this time she didn't even need to lift a finger, which made her feel a bit bored. Soon, the skeleton legion had cleaned up all the minions, and everyone arrived in front of the final boss. Looking at the extremely high attributes of the white python in front of them, the attributes of the goblin king seemed unworthy even to tie its shoes. Jiang Tao Tao volunteered to attract the boss's aggro, but Lin Mo Yu said indifferently, no need. The next second, the skeleton legion swarmed up. The python boss launched a sweeping attack, instantly knocking away the skeleton warriors. Despite its huge size, the boss was extraordinarily agile, and the skeleton warriors couldn't attack it at all. Just when everyone was at a loss, Lin Mo Yu cast a spell, slow curse. Chains appeared out of thin air, wrapping around the python boss. Jiang Tao Tao, who had become accustomed to this, was shocked again, how powerful is a necromancer, who can summon powerful undead creatures and cast curse spells. At that moment, the battle was nearing its end. The python boss, robbed of its agile speed, was surrounded by the skeleton warriors. Feeling the approach of death, the boss launched its strongest skill, deadly venom. Little did it know, the skeletons were undead summons, and the venom had minimal effect on them. The next second, a dazzling light flashed. The skeleton warriors launched a fatal blow against the boss, killing the python boss. The team members were filled with joy, it feels great. We didn't do anything and gained a lot of experience. However, as the initiator of the boss kill, Lin Mo Yu continued to walk forward with his hands in his pockets. Soon, a majestic castle appeared before everyone. The area in front of the castle was filled with merfolk monsters. The ordinarily unintelligent merfolk were orderly patrolling in front of the castle with tridents in their hands. Ning Yi Yi couldn't help but exclaim, three in a group, a total of 60 groups, 190 merfolk monsters, and they are all enhanced. An attack on one will inevitably attract all the merfolk monsters. A five-person team facing so many merfolk monsters is a sure death sentence. However, what others saw as terrifying monsters, Lin Mo Yu saw as a wealth of experience. Lin Mo Yu raised his right hand again, and the next second, the skeleton warriors charged toward the merfolk monsters. Seeing that a big fight was about to break out, Jiang Tao Tao shouted anxiously, Lin Mo Yu, I know you're strong, but facing so many merfolk monsters, you're still too impulsive. However, it was too late. The merfolk monsters that heard the noise had already charged over. Yet, Lin Mo Yu remained calm, this time raising his left hand. The next second, a sound akin to a nuclear explosion came, 
causing everyone to hastily cover their ears. Before everyone could recover from the sound of the explosion, a dense array of kills successful pop-up notifications appeared in front of them. Seeing so many notifications refreshed everyone's understanding once again. The shock of being overwhelmed by experience was even more stunning than the power of the explosion. My god, what just happened? How did he do that? It's my first time experiencing notification spam, but I have to say, it's really overwhelming. At that moment, the palace door slowly opened, and a woman with a human head and a snake body, exuding a seductive air, appeared in front of everyone. Ning Yi Yi, who was still in shock, suddenly looked like a smitten fan, so. So beautiful. I want to hold her in my arms and take good care of her. Seeing the abnormal reactions of the team, Lin Wo Yu, the only sober one, stood in front of them and woke them up. The team members who came to their senses felt a wave of fear, the mermaid queen is so terrifying. Just her inherent charm spell can affect us all. And it works on both men and women. Fortunately, Lin Wo Yu stopped us, or we would have had a total wipeout. The mermaid queen, who had arrived at the square and saw bodies everywhere, instantly went into a frenzy. The next second she launched her terrifying scream ability, casually swinging out an attack that bursts, and waves of water appeared in the square. Just after the confrontation, 12 skeleton knights were instantly wiped out. Jiang Tao Tao anxiously shouted, Lin Wo Yu, quickly recall the skeleton knights and let us go up. However, the response was Lin Wo Yu raising his right hand again, come out, my soldiers. In an instant, countless figures appeared in the square. Upon closer inspection, they were all skeleton warriors. The team was again shocked, we can't count them all, how many skeleton warriors does he have? The once unstoppable mermaid queen was instantly surrounded by skeleton warriors, and the situation was reversed. The current situation was like a pack of wolves attacking a lion, but a single person could hardly fight against many, even ants can kill an elephant in large numbers. A harsh scream echoed through the sky, and the mermaid queen was eventually killed by Lin Mo Yu's sea of people strategy. The system prompt, congratulations on killing the mermaid queen, successfully clearing the dungeon. Reward, mermaid's tear. Ning Yi Yi picked up the mermaid's tear with great excitement, with this, we're one step closer to the creation seminary. Jiang Tao Tao echoed, complete a few more trial tasks, and we'll definitely be able to enter the creation seminary. However, Lin Mo Yu reminded at this moment, E, do you have a cooldown talisman? Yes, I do, Ning Yi Yi suddenly woke up, Lin Mo Yu, are you planning to? Meanwhile, a large number of people from Country Y had gathered at the entrance of the portal, looking at Lin Mo Yu's team that had just come out, their faces full of mockery. I told you they wouldn't make it. They came out so quickly. It seems those skeletons are all show and no substance. Ling Zhen, who was hiding in the dark, felt secretly pleased, I told you they wouldn't make it without me. Humph. It's lucky you didn't die this time. Next, you'll be begging for my help. However, Jiang Tao Tao at the entrance of the portal led the team into battle mode. The purpose was to prevent the people from Country Y from entering the dungeon during this time. Ning Yi Yi, it's up to you now. Ning Yi Yi's face was full of excitement, don't worry, Jiang Tao Tao. A flash of light passed by, and the figures of Lin Mo Yu and Ning Yi Yi disappeared, re-entering the dungeon. The onlookers let out gasps of surprise, what? They have a cooldown item that can ignore the dungeon cooldown time. But only two of them went in, it's such a waste. Compared to the noise outside, Lin Mo Yu and Ning Yi Yi, who entered the dungeon again, seemed very relaxed. Ning Yi Yi was full of regret, if the cooldown item could be used by more than two people, we would definitely have brought Jiang Tao Tao and the others to grind for upgrades. However, we can take this opportunity to get the remaining mermaids tears, not giving the people from Country Y any chance. As the two were talking, the Skeleton Legion had already started their slaughter. In a blink of an eye, they were in front of the first boss. Faced with the gaping mouth of the Python boss, a Skeleton Warrior went up and killed it instantly. The two, without any effort, once again appeared in front of the Mermaid Queen's palace. However, just as the Mermaid Queen had just made her entrance, Lin Mo Yu directly launched a slow curse, followed immediately by a corpse explosion, a combo of skills. The Mermaid Queen, who hadn't even had time to steady herself after her entrance, was sent directly to meet her maker. System prompt, Mermaid Queen killed, 
Mermaid's tier obtained. Ming Yi Yi, also leveling up to 20 under the accumulation of a large amount of experience. Holding the mermaid's tear in her hand, Ning Yi Yi was extremely excited, quick, quick, let's do it again. With a flash of light, the two had just teleported out, then Ning Yi Yi playfully stuck her tongue out at Jiang Tao Tao, the next second she used the cooldown item to enter the dungeon again. The three people at the entrance couldn't believe their eyes, that was too fast. It seems that Lin Mo Yu was indeed hiding his true strength just now. However, before the three could finish their words, Lin Mo Yu and Ning Yi Yi appeared in front of them again. Ning Yi Yi, who had already collected three mermaids' tears, gave Jiang Tao Tao an okay gesture. Jiang Tao Tao felt a great burden lifted. Compared to everyone else's joy, the people from Country Y wore mocking expressions, this is too ridiculous, is this the strength of the people from Shinsia? They wasted three chances in ten minutes, they must have been scared out before even seeing a single monster. The next second, they were served a hefty dose of reality. As loud as they had laughed before, now they looked that much more horrified. The dungeon entrance that was just there a moment ago vanished in an instant. There's only one reason for this, someone had already obtained the three mermaids' tears. But so far they were the only ones who entered the dungeon three times, could they have cleared it three times and obtained the three mermaids' tears? Impossible, absolutely impossible. However, Lin Mo Yu's team, who were returning fully loaded and preparing to leave, were stopped by a furious shout, Stop! You can leave, but leave the mermaids' tears behind. Facing the clown in front of him, Lin Mo Yu still had his hands in his pockets, watching the bellowing people from Country Y with a cold gaze. The next second, Lin Mo Yu slowly raised his right hand, soul blaze. Feeling offended, the person from Country Y immediately pulled out a charm to summon a Shikigami. A beast with a snake head and a body that glowed gold, holding a battle axe, was summoned. As a guardian beast of Country Y, it was full of arrogance facing Lin Mo Yu, who was only at level 17. Attack. At the command, the Shikigami roared and launched its attack. The people from Country Y even- The seemingly mighty Shikigami was killed instantly by the skeleton warrior. Even Lin Mo Yu, who always had a poker face, showed a stunned expression, what's going on? It's too weak. The person from Country Y, whose summon was killed, was also backlashed and spat out a lot of blood. I don't understand, how can his skeleton warrior be so powerful? A monster like this has appeared in Shinsia country, is the heaven planning to destroy my country why? At this moment, the onlookers erupted in astonishment, that's the legendary Shikigami of country why, just so easily slain. The skeleton knight is too powerful. What kind of profession is the necromancer, to be so awesome? The gathered crowd from country why, lost their previous arrogance, were scared out of their wits and turned to run. They only wished they had been born with an extra pair of legs. Lin Mo Yu gently swung his arm and uttered a single word, kill. The skeleton knight, like a killing machine, plunged into the crowd. In just a moment, the people from Country Y were slaughtered. Looking at Lin Mo Yu's lone figure, the people of Shinsia Country had fanaticism in their eyes. A man of few words, ruthless, he is truly a role model for us. On the other hand, Ling Zhen, hiding in the shadows, looked at Lin Mo Yu before Jiang Tao Tao could express her gratitude to Lin Mo Yu, he received a message from By God, asking him to come to the academic affairs office. It turned out that By God had watched the video of the trial and said, Lin Mo Yu, you performed very well. He explained the importance of the mermaid's tears to Lin Mo Yu. Mermaid's tears is a rare item that can affect the success rate in awakening an innate talent during their second cal's transitioning at level 40. I don't know where Country Y got the news and came here just to seize Mermaid's Tears. If it weren't for you, the Mermaid's Tears might have fallen into the hands of Country Y. Since you completed it so perfectly, you can tell me what you want, and I'll try to satisfy you. Lin Mo Yu directly asked by God about his sister's news. By God looked like he had expected this, I knew you would ask about this. Your sister joined the Creation Seminary at the beginning of the year. The academy erased all her worldly news, so you couldn't find out. After all, the academy's rules are here, and it's not convenient for me to reveal to you. But when you enter the creation seminary yourself, you'll understand. Hearing about the creation seminary again, Lin Mo Yu was filled with curiosity. Everyone around me, whether it's Jiang Tao Tao or Ning Yi Yi, 
wants to get into the creation seminary. What exactly is it? It seems that I can only know by joining myself. At this time, by God said, this news was supposed to be told to you, you can make another request. Well, I want a cooldown item. Little did he know, even ordinary cooldown items are very rare, even by God couldn't easily get them. By God immediately said, a cooldown item is possible, but you have to complete a trial task again. Lin Mo Yu immediately agreed cheerfully, no problem. Then, by God said, but this trial task can only be claimed at level 20, your current level is not enough. Then he gave Lin Mo Yu a teleportation stone for a dungeon, you can go and level up first. Receiving the teleportation stone, Lin Mo Yu didn't hesitate and chose to teleport on the spot. The next second, Lin Mo Yu appeared in a bustling hall. At the same time, by God sent information about the Creation Seminary on his cell phone. To get into Creation Seminary, three conditions must be met. Specifically, the level must be over 30, you must pass the Hell Level Dungeon, and most importantly, you have to earn 1000 contribution points. Surprisingly, my sister is a real freak, fulfilling all the conditions just 3 months after enrolling. However, how do you earn these contribution points? Just as Lin Mo Yu was full of doubts, a curvaceous girl walked up to him from behind. She opened her big, expressive eyes, and asked with an expectant look, Handsome guy, do you need some personal service? How much? It's very cheap, only 100 points. Lin Mo Yu, who had tens of thousands of points, paid without a second thought. The cute girl's eyes curved in a smile, it seemed like she was as happy as if she had earned 100 points. Next, I'll introduce you to the situation in the dungeon hall. From the girl, Lin Mo Yu learned that there were 95 dungeons of various sizes in the dungeon hall, each with its corresponding clearance records. Special rewards can be earned by breaking these records. Then, Lin Mo Yu asked the question he had in mind, how can I earn contribution points? The cute girl explained, contribution points are the exclusive points for entering creation seminary. Usually, by completing contribution tasks, you can earn 2 to 3 contribution points at most. Even the super bosses who complete the highest tasks can only earn 10 contribution points. However, the next second, Lin Mo Yu's phone received a notification, congratulations, 50 contribution points have been credited. The girl was nearly short-circuited, 50 contribution points. Did you kill the Emperor of Country Y? Ignoring the surprise of others, Lin Mo Yu came to the dungeon's teleportation entrance. However, at this time, Lin Mo Yu, who was only at level 17, had only one dungeon option for his corresponding level, the Mutated Forest. Looking at the record of the first place in this dungeon, it was created by a five-person elite team three years ago, and no one has ever broken it since. Lin Mo Yu said to himself, well, I'll be the one to create a miracle. With that, Lin Mo Yu hesitated no longer and chose the nightmare level. To save time, after entering the dungeon, Lin Mo Yu directly summoned his skeleton warrior to clear the monsters around him, while he walked straight towards the dungeon boss. Soon, a large pool appeared in front of Lin Mo Yu, and a mutated turtle dragon roared and charged out. The already eager skeleton warrior charged out in an instant, but the once invincible skeleton warrior didn't cause any damage to the turtle dragon. This was because, although the turtle type boss doesn't deal high damage, its defense is terrifyingly high. However, anyone who has killed a turtle knows that although the shell is hard, its belly is quite soft. The next second, Lin Mo Yu launched Soul Flame. Soul Flame is a skill that can ignore physical de- Soon received a system prompt for successful dungeon clearance and broke a record that had been held for three years. Lin Mo Yu only needed to clear one more dungeon to reach level 18. At this time, in the dungeon hall, a bell rang, startling everyone. This bell only rings when a new dungeon record is set. Looking at the clearance record, everyone was shocked again. It was a solo run of the nightmare level dungeon, and it took half the time of the previous record holder. Everyone was wondering, who is he? I want to acknowledge him as my godfather. At this point, Lin Mo Yu, who had just come out, looked at the system prompt, refreshed dungeon record, rewarded with 1000 points and 5 contribution points, only available once. So refreshing the record also gives contribution points, this is really good, but it can only be obtained once, so he had to switch to other dungeons. However, the other dungeons required at least level 18 to enter. With no other choice, Lin Mo Yu ran through the mutated forest again, 
quickly breaking the record he had just set, and successfully reached level 18. Next, Lin Muoyu looked at the record holder for the next dungeon. Surprisingly, it was the same team that held the record for the mutated forest. Lin Muoyu's face was calm, sorry, your record is about to be broken. Selection, Nightmare Level. Without hesitation, Lin Muoyu entered the Spider Nest dungeon. Unexpectedly, the Spider Nest was incredibly complex and filled with forks in the road. In order to quickly clear the dungeon and set a new record, Lin Muoyu had to summon all his skeleton warriors to scout ahead. Soon, all the skeleton warriors encountered battles. The next second, Lin Muoyu's whole body was covered in goosebumps. He could see thousands of small spiders crawling all over the nest. This place was definitely a nightmare for those with a fear of clusters. Lin Muoyu raised his hand and launched the skill, Soul Flame, incinerating hundreds of small spiders in an instant. Looking at the experience points gained from the system prompt, Lin Muoyu had to exclaim, this is really a good place to grind experience. It turned out that the experience value of a small spider here was 20 times higher than that of the same level. However, the number of small spiders was too large. In the blink of an eye, the skeleton warriors were covered in spiders, gnawing at them like a swarm of locusts. Although the attack of a single small spider was not high, the sheer number of them was overwhelming. With no other choice, Lin Muoyu had to launch Corpse Explosion. With a bang, the skeleton warriors exploded instantly, and the system prompts for killing the small spiders also filled the screen. Helplessly, Lin Muoyu had to change his strategy and press forward little by little with the skeleton warriors. Although a disaster was avoided, it greatly slowed down the speed of completing the dungeon. After an hour of annihilation, Lin Muoyu finally came before the Spider Queen. Good, good, good. He said, you like to gang up, don't you? Now it's my turn. In an instant, the Skeleton Legion swarmed up. At this time, in the mission hall, the cute girl was standing at the entrance of the teleportation gate, anxiously waiting for Lin Muoyu's return. It's been two hours, and no one has ever soloed the spider nest dungeon. Did he encounter an accident? The next second, Lin Muoyu appeared before her. The cute girl was surprised, classmate, you scared me to death, you finally came out. Did you pass the dungeon? Lin Muoyu replied, thank you, I passed. The cute girl hurriedly said, no, it's okay if you didn't. After all, you were alone. Suddenly, a scream came, you said you passed. You actually soloed the dungeon again. Already familiar with the shock, Lin Muoyu turned and walked towards the dungeon entrance. In order to level up to 20 as soon as possible, Lin Muoyu spent 40 points to eliminate the dungeon's cooldown. With the experience of passing the dungeon last time and to set a new record, this time he did not entangle with the small spiders too much and went straight to the Spider Queen. Unbeknownst to him, all of Lin Muoyu's actions were displayed on a large screen and observed by many powerful figures in the academy. By God joked, how about that, was it shocking? Although I have touched base with him many times, watching today's battle still gave me a start. The head of the Hidden Dragon Academy even directly stated, the talented students of the Hidden Dragon Academy probably wouldn't even have the chance to be his shoe shiners. An old man with white hair asked by God, Bai, you've had a lot of contact with him. Has he awakened any talents? By God chuckled, it should be an amplification talent, but I didn't ask how much specifically, after all, it's his private matter. However, his sister has already joined the creation seminary and has been taken as a closed-door disciple by that old man. I think Lin Muoyu might also be noticed. It seems that we humans have two more rising stars. If he can also be noticed by that old man, he will definitely become an unstoppable force in the future. The future is promising. At this moment, the bell in the dungeon hall rang again, resounding through the sky. Lin Muoyu refreshed the dungeon record once more in a kingly manner. Just as everyone was shocked, an untimely voice appeared, a waste, relying on some relationship with by God, I don't know what powerful treasure he got. Otherwise, it's impossible up tier dungeons have a cooldown time of a month. With the cooldown talismans, you can significantly reduce this cooldown time. A friendly reminder, Tyrant Desert is a large-scale dungeon that can only be completed by a team of 40 people. I hope you can complete it within 3 days, because the Academy's opening ceremony will be held in 3 days. Lin Muoyu accepted the task without hesitation. After Lin Muoyu left, an elderly man with white hair entered, 
it seems that you are quite satisfied with this kid man. By God chuckled, he indeed suits my taste. The white-haired old man teased, with his character, he will definitely choose to solo the large dungeon. I remember when you went in at level 30, you crawled out in a sorry state. By God was a bit embarrassed, but don't underestimate Lin Mo Yu. He's much, much stronger than I was back then. To complete the task, Lin Mo Yu arrived alone at the task hall and was checking information about the large dungeon, Tyrant Desert. Just then, a delicate voice came, Lin Mo Yu, are you looking up the Tyrant Desert? Looking at the cute girl in front of him, Lin Mo Yu said, yes, I need to obtain something called the Tyrant Heart. The cute girl looked surprised, the Tyrant Heart is a rare item that only drops after defeating the final boss. Although the Tyrant Heart can be used to create the key for the rare equipment Tyrant's necklace, it only drops once a year, and the last drop was four years ago. It was a team of 40 elites from the Flying Dragon Academy that spent 16 hours to finally clear the dungeon, not only obtaining the Tyrant Heart but also setting a new record for the dungeon. However, this record has been held for four years, and no one has been able to break it so far. You've just leveled up to 20 and don't have any teammates. I suggest you. Immediately, the cute girl's eyes widened, and her little hand covered her open mouth, no way, are you planning to solo the large dungeon? However, before Lin Mo Yu could answer, there were exclamations from the hall. At that moment, a 40-person team had appeared in the task hall, their bodies adorned with gold-level equipment, obviously prepared for the task. At this moment, the burly man leading the team shouted loudly, this time we must break the record for clearing the tyrant desert. Everyone, give me your full attention. If anyone messes up, don't blame me for being harsh. Looking at the elite team with excellent equipment in front of him, Lin Mo Yu knew he couldn't wait any longer and turned to walk towards the dungeon. At the same time, watching Lin Mo Yu entering the dungeon alone, the burly man's face was filled with mockery, where did this newbie come from? Daring to solo a large dungeon alone. He wants to show off without considering his own abilities. At this moment, Lin Mo Yu, who had entered the dungeon, was exclaiming, a large dungeon is indeed large. Subsequently, Lin Mo Yu summoned the skeleton warriors, dispersed, and let them explore the situation warriors was attacked. Fortunately, as Lin Mo Yu's level increased, the skeleton warriors had also been upgraded to silver level, or they would have been killed instantly. At this moment, the nearby skeleton warriors also gathered and without a word, they directly attacked the dungeon monster. Accompanied by the flash of a blade, the dungeon monster was cleaved into two by the skeleton warrior. Looking at the dungeon monster in front of him, Lin Mo Yu exclaimed, as expected from a large dungeon, even a common monster can compare with a nightmare level dungeon. To be cautious, Lin Mo Yu directly activated the skeleton armor to prevent any accidents. After fighting all the way, two hours later, the skeleton army arrived at a desert oasis. Lin Mo Yu was even more alert because it was easy for a large number of monsters to gather near the oasis. Suddenly, a roar came, and a scorpion hidden in the yellow sand suddenly attacked, but it was instantly killed by the prepared skeleton warrior. Unexpectedly, the sound of the battle attracted even more scorpion monsters. However, a tree behind the scorpion monsters caught Lin Mo Yu's attention because it was full of fruits. Lin Mo Yu directly ordered the skeleton warriors to resist the attack of the scorpion monsters and arranged for the remaining skeleton warriors to collect all the fruits on the tree. Soon, a fruit was brought back by a skeleton warrior and presented to Lin Mo Yu. As he ate the fruit, Lin Mo Yu instantly replenished his energy. It turned out that the fruits on the tree could instantly restore the consumption of energy, but once picked, they must be used within 5 minutes and cannot be taken out of the dungeon. A sly smile appeared at the corner of Lin Mo Yu's mouth, this place is truly a sacred ground for my skeleton army to level up. Lin Mo Yu gently raised his right hand and loudly commanded, come out, skeleton mage. The next second, a fire type skeleton mage was summoned. With the recovery ability of the oasis fruits, I can summon skeleton mages infinitely, and also level up by killing monsters, Lin Mo Yu muttered to himself. As long as the skill is upgraded to level 20, the black iron level skeleton mage can be upgraded to silver level. Soon, after three hours of fighting, the skeleton mage successfully upgraded to the silver level, and the fire type skeleton mage even developed new variations. 
Along with Lin Muoyu's summoning, for skeleton mages made a strong appearance, they were fire-type skeleton mage, wind-type skeleton mage, ice-type skeleton mage, and thunder-type skeleton mage. At this moment, joy filled Lin Muoyu's face, you guys had a great time killing my skeleton warriors, didn't you? Now it's my turn. Immediately, the skeleton mages began a one-sided slaughter of the scorpion monsters. Little did they know, the slaughtered scorpion monsters were just the tip of the iceberg. The next second, tens of thousands of scorpion troops appeared in Lin Muoyu's field of vision. Looking at the densely packed scorpion monsters in front of him, Lin Muoyu hooked up a faint smile at the corner of his mouth, there are more of you than there are of us. booming sound of the explosion echoed across the sky, and the experience prompts for killing scorpion monsters flooded the screen again. The previously bustling battlefield was suddenly clear. Lin Muoyu was instantly dumbfounded, is that all there is to a large dungeon? There are no more monsters. I haven't had enough fun killing yet. If only there were so many monsters all the time. Never mind, I better go find the dungeon boss quickly, I don't want another team to kill the boss first and get the tyrant's heart. Suddenly, a roaring sound came, it was the sound of hordes of desert soldier ants forming a beast tide. Just in case, Lin Muoyu instantly activated his skeleton armor, then leaped into the air and landed on a desert soldier ant. Lin Muoyu's eyebrows furrowed, a beast tide wouldn't form without reason. Looking at the direction of the desert soldier ants, it seems like they have a purpose. At this moment, a sense of weightlessness suddenly came. The next second, Lin Muoyu appeared in a huge underground space. Is this the ant soldier's nest? As Lin Muoyu pondered, a bang sound came, and the skeleton armor that Lin Muoyu activated was attacked. It turned out to be the desert flying ants, which had launched an attack due to the invasion of foreign enemies. Looking at the huge desert flying ants in front of him, Lin Muoyu was not scared but happy, only because the desert flying ants were the queen ant's personal guards, and the appearance of the desert flying ants also meant that the queen ant was nearby. Immediately, Lin Muoyu summoned an ice-type skeleton mage, and used the tornado storm skill to instantly kill the desert flying ants. Little did he know, the sound of the battle attracted even more desert soldier ants. However, Lin Muoyu was not panicked at all. With the reaper sickle in his hand and his body lifted into the air, he loudly summoned, come out, my warriors. In order to save time in clearing the level, Lin Muoyu directly dispatched all the skeleton warriors into the nest to find the queen ant, and he himself only led the remaining skeleton mages to launch an attack on the swarming desert soldier ants. At this time, the advantage of the skeleton mages also became apparent. In the small space of the underground ant nest, a single skill from a skeleton mage could often instantly kill a large area of desert soldier ants, greatly increasing the speed of monster killing. Soon, Lin Muoyu received information from the skeleton warriors ahead, they had found the queen ant deep in the nest. Lin Muoyu decided not to continue fighting and directly left the battlefield to kill the queen ant deep in the nest. Soon, Lin Muoyu saw a huge, bloated queen ant, surrounded by many desert flying ants protecting the queen. Anyone who has studied biology knows that the queen ant is only responsible for reproduction and does not have any offensive capabilities. Lin Muoyu instantly felt bored, there is really no challenge at all. Then, he clearly spit out the command, kill. And the skeleton warriors rushed out instantly. Just as the skeleton warriors were about to approach the queen ant, who knew that the queen ant would suddenly launch a storm heavy strike skill, and the skeleton warriors that had not yet rushed to the front instantly dissipated. At this point, Lin Muoyu quickly put away his contemptuous heart, an indiscriminate skill attack, what a surprise. It seems that one should not underestimate any dungeon boss. Immediately, Lin Muoyu summoned all the skeleton warriors. The skeleton mages were responsible for ranged attacks, and the skeleton warriors were seeking flaws to decapitate. Soon, under the tacit cooperation of the skeleton army, not only were the queen ant's guards dead or injured, but the queen ant herself was also injured and curled up. Following that, the queen ant, knowing she was no match, launched a skill to summon the ant swarm to protect her, trying to use the advantage of numbers to eliminate the skeleton army. Little did she know, this move played right into Lin Muoyu's hands. Looking at the queen ant protected by tens of thousands of desert soldier ants, Lin Muoyu laughed out directly, well, I'll give you a big gift. Then, Lin Muoyu raised his hand and activated the corpse explosion skill. 
The desert soldier ants protecting the queen ant instead became the catalyst for the queen ant's death. In a chain reaction, the queen ant was destroyed in the explosion. After this battle, Lin Woyu not only eliminated the queen ant but also obtained a rare item, the queen ant's egg. However, Lin Woyu's footsteps did not stop. After two hours of fighting, killing one boss after another, finally, Lin Woyu led the skeleton army to stand in front of a magnificent city. At this time, in the castle, a lion clan army was kneeling neatly. And above them, the lion tyrant, emanating an aura of majesty, was indeed sitting on the throne. At this point, a large army was gathering under the castle, and the walls were lined with lion clan archers. However, the lion clan soldiers were not disorganized, but rather an army that could form arrays and cooperate tacitly. Moreover, the attributes of any lion clan soldier were much higher than those of any monsters in the dungeons. However, in other people's eyes, the lion clan castle was definitely a hard nut to crack, but in Lin Moyu's eyes, it was nothing. Then, Lin Moyu's mouth curled up in a faint smile, sorry, not only you have an army, I have one too. Lin Moyu raised his sickle with his right hand, come out, ancient undead general. The next second, an undead general holding a halberd made a strong appearance. The summoning was not over, Lin Moyu raised his left hand again, it's your turn to perform, my soldiers. In an instant, the already hungry skeleton army appeared on the battlefield. Then, the undead general activated the military skill, and the skeleton warriors, who were originally fighting individually, instantly formed an army under the enhancement of the undead general's skill. Lin Moyu looked at the overwhelming momentum erupted by the skeleton army, this was not as simple as 1 plus 1 equals 2. Lin Moyu pointed forward with his sickle and said, kill. The skeleton army swarmed out instantly. Seeing the attacking skeleton army, the lion clan archers on the castle sent out an alarm. The lion clan archers, who were already on full alert, shot out a dense array of arrows. In an instant, darkening the originally clear sky. However, for the skeleton army, this was a piece of cake. The skeleton warriors at the front of the team waved their weapons to block the arrows, and the skeleton mages at the back of the team immediately launched long-range attack skills. In just one round, more than half of the lion clan archers above the castle were dead or injured. However, the downside was that the bodies of the lion clan archers fell inside the castle, making it impossible to use the target skill corpse explosion. Just as Lin Moyu was feeling regret, the lion clan soldiers below the castle had already clashed with the skeleton army. At this point, the effect of the army formation was also highlighted, directly killing the Lion Clan soldiers into a rout. Seeing that the situation on the battlefield had been decided, in order to speed up the clearance, Lin Moyu directly ordered the skeleton mages to attack the castle gate. However, the skills bombarded on the gate were like a stone sinking into the sea, causing no damage. Lin Moyu fell into thought. Could it be because of the large dungeon that it requires team cooperation or some specific method to open the gate? The next second, Lin Moyu's eyes suddenly focused. When force is applied, subtlety is irrelevant. All the troubles originate from insufficient strength. Then, Lin Moyu directly ordered the bodies of the Lion Clan soldiers on the battlefield to be piled up at the castle gate. Then, Lin Moyu launched the corpse explosion skill. With a boom, the roar of the explosion echoed through the sky, and he out showing any weakness, secretly thinking in his heart, as expected of the boss of a large dungeon, the momentum displayed is definitely not comparable to that of ordinary dungeons. However, it's of no use, sorry, I'm in a rush. The next second, a big battle was about to start. The lion tyrant instantly launched the skill, Fury Pounce. With the arrival of the attack, two skeleton warriors were directly eliminated. Then, Lin Moyu, controlling the skeleton mages, launched a counterattack without showing any weakness. However, it only caused temporary trouble for the lion tyrant, but aroused the ferocity of it. The lion tyrant roared, his arm swung around to launch the skill, revolving storm, and in an instant, the attacking skeleton warriors suffered heavy casualties. Lin Moyu immediately felt a great pressure, so strong, an ordinary person really has no way to deal with you. But sorry, I'm not ordinary, stop. The next second, Lin Moyu cast the slow curse, and chains instantly wrapped around the entire body of the lion tyrant. Unexpectedly though, although he had restrained the body of the lion tyrant, 
he did not control its life-saving skill, Hell Roar. With the arrival of the Sound Wave, not only were 14 skeleton warriors shattered, but even Lin Moyu's bone armor was instantly shattered. Then, the Lion Tyrant jumped up, and just as he was about to break free from the chains, Lin Moyu seized the opportunity to launch Soul Flame. Feeling the burn on his soul, the Lion Tyrant was knocked to the ground. Lin Moyu understood well the crude principle of kick someone when they're down and launched the Soul Flame even more fiercely, ordering the skeleton warriors and skeleton mages to attack together. Listening to the roar of the Lion Tyrant, Lin Moyu secretly rejoiced, fortunately, all the skeleton mages have been upgraded to the silver level, otherwise, we might have failed here. Finally, after 20 minutes of bombardment, with the fall of the Lion Tyrant, Lin Moyu finally cleared the Tyrant Desert and obtained the rare item, Tyrant's Heart. After this battle, not only did Lin Moyu level up to 21, but the skill level of his skeleton mages also increased. He was overjoyed, it seems that once the skills are maxed out, they can level up with the character. It looks like I should run the Tyrant Desert again when I get the chance, taking advantage of the healing ability of the Oasis Fruits in the dungeon to max out all the skills. At this moment, the originally noisy mission hall suddenly fell silent because the big clock, which represented the refresh of the dungeon record, rang six times. Six bell rings, which represented that the record for clearing a large dungeon had been broken. Bai Li Sheng, the grandson of the principal of the Bai Li Academy, was full of arrogance. Our Bai Li Academy is awesome, not only did we clear the dungeon, but we also broke the record. However, someone raised an objection, I remember that the great Lin Moyu also entered the dungeon, could it be that he created a miracle again? Bai Li Sheng, however, looked dismissive, what rubbish team is Lin Moyu from, daring to even think about competing with our Bai Li Academy for the dungeon record? At this moment, a subordinate came to Bai Li Sheng's side and uttered a few words in a low voice. Before he could finish, Bai Li Sheng suddenly <laughs> burst into laughter, what did you say? This is really hilarious. You're saying he soloed a large dungeon. If he can clear the dungeon solo, I'll eat my hat. However, Lin Moyu's fans in the hall were visibly annoyed, unable to bear his arrogance, holding back the urge to hit him. Bai Li Sheng continued chattering, this record definitely belongs to our Bai Li Academy. Suddenly, the system prompted that the tyrant heart had dropped, causing another shock among everyone, what? The tyrant heart has actually been dropped. You should know that the tyrant heart can only possibly drop if the lion tyrant is killed within one hour. Bai Li Sheng became even more arrogant, see? Not only did our Bai Li Academy refresh the dungeon record, but we also got the tyrant heart. Are you jealous or not? However, Bai Li Sheng was proven wrong in the very next second. The system prompted again, congratulations to Lin Mo Yu for refreshing the dungeon record and obtaining the rare item, Tyrant Heart. At the same time, Lin Mo Yu, with his hands in his pockets, calmly walked out of the dungeon. The people in the hall immediately burst into cheers, amazing, you're really awesome. Dad, I'm your long lost son. Bai Li Sheng's face was as ugly as if he had eaten shit. He quickly walked up to Lin Mo Yu and asked, are you Lin Mo Yu? However, Lin Mo Yu didn't even give him a glance and walked away directly. The onlookers collectively mocked, hey, that guy from Bai Li Academy, weren't you saying you'd eat your hat? At the same time, Bai God, sitting in his office, received a call from Lin Mo Yu. Lin Mo Yu, the large dungeon is difficult, isn't it? Bai God asked, another level. Suddenly, Bai God asked him, Lin Mo Yu, do you want to enter the creation seminary as soon as possible? Lin Mo Yu answered truthfully, indeed, but I lack too many contribution points. Although I refreshed the dungeon record three times and got 90 contribution points, I need 1000 contribution points to join the creation seminary. Then, by God said, since you are so eager, I can take you to the Yuan battlefield to get contribution points. However, there is both opportunity and danger, I don't know if you dare. Upon hearing that there was a place where he could earn contribution points, Lin Moyu's fighting spirit was immediately boosted, it seems I can earn contribution points faster now. Seeing the eager Lin Moyu in front of him, by God said, but there's no such thing as a free lunch in the world. I can give you the qualification to go to the Yuan battlefield, but you have to help me bring back some materials. With that, by God handed Lin Moyu a piece of paper. Lin Moyu opened the paper, and his heart skipped a beat. 
The materials by God needed were all from the dragon race. By God immediately explained, they are not the dragon race you imagine, just beast men with dragon blood. But don't underestimate them. Now, don't rush, go back first. After the school opening ceremony, I'll take you to the Yuan battlefield. After sending Lin Mo Yu away, the white-haired elder's face showed a hint of worry, isn't it a bit too hasty to send him to the Yuan battlefield so early? By God, however, was firm, you saw it too, he's only at level 20, but his skills already far exceed some who have evolved their professions twice. The earlier he goes there, the better it is for him. The white-haired elder still had a hint of worry, but you didn't tell him that humanity's greatest enemy is there as well. Meanwhile, the captain of the Bai Li squad walked out of the dungeon with an excited face. They thought that a 15-hour clear of the tyrant desert would be enough to break the dungeon record. However, what greeted them when they exited the dungeon was not the gasps of the crowd, but the mocking faces of a group of onlookers. The captain was dumbfounded. It was at this moment that a team member discovered the crux of the problem, Captain, we set a new dungeon record, but we didn't get the tyrant's heart. And look at the system prompt. Immediately, the captain of the Bai Li squad was shocked on the spot. As he looked at the system prompt in front of him, a cold sweat slid down, and his face was full of disbelief. The system prompt clearly read, Lin Mo Yu's solo record of 14 hours. A single person. The captain was stunned, he couldn't believe it, impossible, it's simply impossible. He's only level 21, so how can he clear the dungeon faster than us? Watching the hysterical captain of the Bai Li squad, the onlooking crowd couldn't help but feel a sense of schadenfreude, serves you right. It's hilarious. First, there was the grandson of the Bai Li Academy, and now there's Captain Bai Li failing to show off. It's just too funny. This will definitely make the Bai Li Academy infamous. At this moment, the main character Lin Mo Yu was still in his dreams. The next day, after a night of rest, Lin relayed the earlier incident to Bai Li Sheng. Bai Li Sheng's face changed continuously as he heard the news, and in just two minutes, he thought of killing him three times, don't think you're great just because you can solo in dungeon. This country bumpkin doesn't know how things change after the second evolution. No matter how strong he is now, he might be trash after the second evolution. I will show him the consequences of ignoring me. At this moment, Lin Wo Yu, who didn't know he was targeted, was now leisurely looking at the dungeon prompt, to clear the tyrant desert once, the cooldown time is 9 days. To eliminate the cooldown time, 2500 points are needed. As Lin Mo Yu was pondering, the people in the hall had noticed him. Look, it's the godlike Lin Mo Yu. Is he planning to solo another large dungeon and set a new record? The next second, the crowd surrounded a blonde cute girl, Miss, since you know him, could you please ask him if he could help us complete the Tyrant Desert mission? We're willing to pay 1000 points for his help. Facing the crowd's desperate pleas, the cute girl with her big, round eyes looked helpless, all right, I'll ask for you. Immediately, she led the crowd over to Lin Mo Yu and conveyed their request. Lin Mo Yu was instantly baffled, there's a mission for the Tyrant Desert. The cute girl explained, all students have the mission to clear the Tyrant Desert dungeon. If they can't clear it, they won't qualify for graduation. Hearing this, Lin Mo Yu surprisingly said, sorry, I'm still a freshman, I didn't know about the academy's missions. The crowd was shocked, what? Lin is already so powerful as a freshman, this is really depressing. Then, Lin Mo Yu did a quick calculation, 1000 points for each person, a 40 person dungeon can take 39 people, that's 39,000 points, which would just make up for the points I spent to buy the sickle last time. Immediately, Lin Mo Yu agreed to the proposal. Instantly, there was a burst of cheers from the crowd, the scene became chaotic, everyone was scrambling to be the first to participate. Everyone, be quiet. Accompanied by a petite shout, the cute girl with her hands on her hips, looked angrily at the crowd, line up, don't anger Lin and make him not want to take you through the dungeon. The lively scene instantly froze, and the next second, a well-ordered line appeared in the mission hall. Lin Mo Yu had a faint smile at the corner of his mouth, and then he led the 39 people into the tyrant desert. Lin Mo Yu instructed everyone to just watch and not interfere, and everyone happily agreed. Then, Lin Mo Yu gently raised his right hand, come out, skeleton army. 
Seeing all the skeleton warriors before them, everyone was amazed, a necromancer is definitely a legendary profession, it's so terrifying, one person can be as powerful as a battalion. With the skeleton army's relentless onslaught, the crowd quickly arrived at the desert oasis. Unfortunately, the dungeon did not refresh any desert fruits this time. It seems that getting a desert fruit in a dungeon is a matter of luck. Disappointed, Lin Muoyu decided not to linger, using the skeleton warriors to draw aggro and gather all the monsters in one place, then launching the corpse explosion skill. With a loud boom, all the monsters were wiped out. Everyone was amazed, Lin is really too powerful. From entering the dungeon until now, I've been completely stupefied. His efficiency is incredibly fast. After that, Lin Muoyu ordered everyone to rest in place while he alone cleared the monsters in the ant cave before coming to find them. However, seeing the skeleton warriors easily slaying all the minor monsters they encountered, everyone felt a renewed sense of confidence. Consequently, the people left behind couldn't stand the loneliness and entered the battlefield to kill a few monsters for fun. Little did they know that the minor monsters which couldn't survive even a single hit under Lin Muoyu's hand were their nightmares. The scorpion that had just been killed by a single strike from the skeleton warriors was now sending the frontline student flying with just a single hit. Everyone was shocked, the scorpion monster was so formidable. Fortunately, the team's healers quickly followed up with healing, and the mages who had reacted also launched their attacks. However, their attacks were like tickling the scorpion monster, and they didn't cause much damage at all. Damn, the scorpion monster was unexpectedly difficult. Luckily, there were many people gathered here. After half an hour of fierce battle, the 39 people barely managed to kill one scorpion monster. At that moment, everyone was exhausted and limp. The strength of the monsters here was insanely powerful, and without experiencing it, they really did not know how powerful Lin Woyu was. Just as everyone was sighing, another scorpion monster was attracted by the earlier fight. Everyone's faces turned ashen, damn it, I'm already out of energy, what do we do now? If they had known, they would have listened to Lin Muoyu and obediently stayed in place. It truly was a case of, if you play with fire, you're going to get burned. Seeing the rapidly approaching scorpion monster, everyone was prepared for a certain death. Just then, a skeleton warrior suddenly appeared before them. In just an instant, with a swoosh, the fearsome scorpion monster was sliced into three sections by the skeleton warrior. The people, who had just escaped death, immediately shed tears of elation. It turned out that Lin Woyu had the foresight to secretly leave a skeleton warrior to protect them, otherwise they would have certainly died. However, some people in the team still harbored doubts, and couldn't help but raise a question, have you noticed? It's been so long but there has been no kill notification from Lin Woyu. However, this was quickly rebutted by others, haven't you seen how Lin Woyu kills monsters? He always lures them together before wiping them out all at once. Before they could finish speaking, the system notifications for killing minor monsters flooded the screen. Everyone was, the pressure it emitted alone caused everyone to be disoriented. They couldn't help but exclaim, we finally see a living lion tyrant. Quick, touch my pants, are they wet? However, Lin Muoyu remained as calm as ever, his hands in his pockets, we meet again. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry today. Skeleton army, attack. The next second mission hall. However, Lin Muoyu, just teleported out of the dungeon, was stunned on the spot. The number of people queuing in the hall was increasing because they had heard that Lin Muoyu could speedrun the tyrant desert, and everyone who got the news had come. After laying out the rules, Lin Muoyu entered the dungeon with another 39 people. Unbeknownst to him, a spy sent by Bai Li Sheng had infiltrated the team, intending to see how Lin Muoyu solo cleared the dungeon. The unsuspecting Lin Muoyu had already started leading the team to clear the dungeon. Unexpectedly, Lin Muoyu was lucky this time and encountered the desert fruits in the desert oasis again. Lin Muoyu thought to himself, with the recovery ability of the desert fruits, I can finally level up the remaining skills to the max. What followed was a visual feast for everyone, not only with the skeleton warrior's one-hit kills but also with Lin Muoyu's corpse explosions. The skeleton army refreshed everyone's understanding time and time again, clearing the tyrant desert in just seven hours. Unlike the cheers of everyone else, the spy and the team was breaking out in a cold sweat, I didn't expect Lin Muoyu to be so powerful. I must hurry and report this to Bai Li Sheng. 
Soon, Bai Li Sheng got all the information from the spy. So, he can summon strong skeleton warriors and utilize group killing skills with corpses. Bai Li Sheng, who thought he had everything figured out, wore a confident expression, in my view, every class has weaknesses. As long as we restrict him from summoning and clean up the usable corpses, Lin Mulyu is useless. With that, Bai Li Sheng gave a sinister smile, go get Ling Zhen, who has a grudge against Lin Mulyu. I will show you the consequence of offending me. With the arrival of just arrived at the academy, was gazing out of the window, thinking sweetly, I heard Lin Mulyu arrived at the academy early. I wonder how this blockhead has been doing recently.